Hello beautiful and welcome to the prosperous womb. Today I want to talk about high ticket sales, selling. I was having a conversation with all the participants in my pricing workshop, the last one for the year, and she said, she was really happy saying this, that I am so glad I'm not one of those coaches that sells once or twice a week. That is so annoying. I am really proud that I only sell maybe twice a year. And this is a coach that has two or three offers and no clients right now. And I said to her, tell me more. And she said, you know, it's really annoying because my whole goal is moving to a place in my business where I never have to sell. I just want to market in a way that allows people to show up on my website. And even if an item is $100,000 for it, they will just buy it. And I said, well, that's perfect. That is wonderful. And there's nothing wrong with that. And what I want to share in this video is to really dig into whatever it is that tells us that non-selling should be put on a, on a pedestal or that not selling your work is a good thing for a business that wants to make profits. So if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mimi Dabo. I'm a high ticket business coach and I support spiritual women coaches and Christian women coaches to co-create profitable and very simple high ticket coaching boutiques so they can serve at a higher transformational level, co-create impact in any coaching niche for their clients. In their own businesses, they get to simplify with one high ticket coaching offer and they get to create the impact, the wealth, the freedom, the money, the profits, and whatever else they want for themselves in this lifetime. So when we're really clear on our sales goals, our sales plan, our sales priorities, what I see is a different relationship to sales and seeing making money in our business through a new lens. What do I mean by that? It's one thing for people to find you on your website and buy. I'm used to that. I love that because my clients find me through my blog, get a, they buy or they get on my email list and after a while they connect with me and end up buying or investing in themselves. But let's say you have one or two or three offers and you don't yet have clients, but you don't want to sell because you don't want to be annoying. The thing is without sales, we don't have a business and this is not a soapbox or my high horse. This is really just business one-on-one sales is a routine business action. It's the way that we exchange the gift, our blessings, the packaged blessings that we birth out of our prosperous womb. It's the way that we contribute them to the world and receive the money for them. Okay. And until there comes a new system, where we don't use the word selling or sales, this is what we need to do. This is what we get to do to create the relationship. Emphasis on relationship, not transactions, because nobody's loyal to a transaction and everyone prefers a relationship. The sales and the money and the profits come out of the relationship. The impact stems from the relationship. And for you to say, look, and I'm not making anybody right or wrong or good or bad about this, it's just me in my head trying to figure this out and dropping into my heart and identifying if I want to be a blessing in the world and I'm here to answer somebody's prayer today because I've created a God and I have created the thing they want and I'm here to step into my assignment and connect to the heartbeat of my mission to do that work how can I not sell and how can not selling be a good thing when that's going to bring me closer to leading with impact it doesn't matter how many times you tell yourself you're leading with impact or how much, how much passion and compassion you have for the work that you do and the people that you serve and how much you enjoy coaching. If sales is a dirty word to you, you are not making the impact you're here to make. And more importantly, you are not doing the work you, you pretend that you're doing. Without sales, you don't have a business. The only time that breaking even is okay in a business that's here to make profits is when you're dead because then you're putting no time or energy in your business and your website's just selling and the product is getting shipped away. But as long as you're alive and you spend even one minute on your business, breaking even is a loss energetically, physically, and in all the ways. So I, I want to invite you to really look at sales from a perspective of building a relationship and serving and sales being the gateway to you to you completing the mission 
you're working on? Do you step it into your assignment? Unless you know a bridge that I haven't heard about, selling is how I deliver my work. How do you deliver your work? Unless you, you know, register as a nonprofit, you are a profit making business. So be good to yourself, be kind to yourself, be compassionate with yourself to understand that you are basically emotionally, psychologically, and financially abusing yourself by not exchanging that gift or contribution you have in the world for money. What else are you working for? Outside of the impact, everyone's going to make impact. You can make impact with a YouTube video. You can make impact with a face li Facebook live. You can make impact by just sending an email. You don't have to sell to make impact. But to really dig deep into your mission and connect to the heartbeat of why you're here, you do have to sell that work. Or you can just give it away if you're a nonprofit. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Your, account your accountants can help you do that. But if you're a profitable business, which is the women that I work with, then sales is necessary and we all need to master how to sell because that shifts the way we see sales. When we don't know how to sell, we'll make excuses as to why we're not showing up and doing the thing. As soon as we master how to sell, all of a sudden, sales becomes this beautiful relationship and we want to be in it all the time because it's thriving, it's blossoming, and we just love everything about it. So how can you today start to fall in love with sales so you don't say, say things like, me doing routine business tasks is a good, me not doing routine business activities is a good thing. Not selling should not be on a pedestal. This is the only time I'm going to use the word should. It should not be on a pedestal. Sales is necessary. Sales is routine. It is the breathing mechanism of a business. Let me know how this lands for you. It's been good having you.